hit. That was an impressive one. Let's go. All right. The phone has been sat down. Yeah, you know, when I do them on my own, there's almost like this, like, suiting up process. Uh, cause I like put my earbuds in and I hear the intro, but on this, I just sort of like slap it together. It's like, well, let's, anyways. let's make a new intro then. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know. Yeah. Let me just take one more puff of this. Go right ahead, dude. You sure you don't want to? Slap uh, resin? I, I'm good. It's fucking, it, it slaps. Don't yeah, we're going. Oh, it, it's going. Yeah. Oh, it's going? Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess I should check what the what the date is. Welcome to the Weasley Update. This is Season 2, Episode 2. And I'm here with Jonah Duvall. What is the date? Let me take a look. I have no idea. It's, it is August 15th, Saturday. Woo, Saturday night. Man, the vibe in here is so perfect. Yeah, dude. Especially with a uh, Deathly Hollows poster on the wall. <laughs> yeah, we have, like... Two Harry Potter posters, and then a Michael Jackson poster over there. And oh, we you have gotta a... love Thriller. Yep, that was my, my first poster, actually. Really? Yep. Dude, Thriller was one of my first vinyls. I got Thriller and Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. Um, okay. Yeah. We have a, a huge vinyl collection over there, you see it? Oh, Jesus. There's yeah. so much stuff over there that it just yeah. blunt. This is, I can't Toosh. believe, like, Toosh. you lived here before this was raised. That's still yeah. blowing my mind. Yeah. Man, the amount of money that would have cost. I don't even know, dude. Well, it created this awesome cave. Like, not yeah. only does it serve as a, uh, like, storage place, but you can come hang out down here. Work out. That's honestly maybe the best part. Yeah, it's... I like what it is, but it is very cluttered, you know? Oh, yeah, but... It, if it was cleaner, it would be so much easier to go down here and get, like, work done, you know? Yeah, no, you know what they say, like, a, a cluttered space, cluttered mind, or whatever. Yeah. I'm totally with that, dude. I, uh, since I moved out, I became pretty meticulous about cleaning my stuff, like, keeping my stuff organized. I did a little bit in, uh in college with my roommate just because mm-hmm. I wanted to be respectful but like whenever I move back here I'm always more dirty you, you did a dorm didn't you yeah yeah I, I had to do dorms because my that parents sucks. my parents didn't want me in a house because they thought I was going to party all the time well you know so they they're supporting you so you gotta respect years. it exactly um, it sucked though Man, yeah, I I personally couldn't have done the dorms. My first year's experience was as good as it gets. Like, I really got to shout out Jake, Leo, Derek, and Brett here. Because we we were all living together at Lark. It would have been a dream to live with them. Oh, my God. It it was crazy. You know what's funny is, uh, so Derek, Brett, and another friend of ours moved up there the year previously and lived in the same apartment building. But at the time, it was called NXNW. We sign our leases over the summer at this place, and two weeks later, maybe, a video goes viral on Twitter of some dude at NXNW on the second floor, buck-ass naked, beating his meat outside his window, like, hanging outside, and the cops showed up, and they, like, shot him with pepper balls and stuff, Um, and so they changed the name to Lark Bellingham. How crazy is that? That is disgusting. Yeah, well, <laughs> I really hope he was oh like, my God. on some sort of drug, just so he at least like has I don't that know, excuse. Man. I, that is... Wow. It, I just remember it being like really disgusting. coincidentally timed after we signed our leases. We yeah. were just like, oh my God. But it, it was a great place. I really cannot... Um, <laughs> like say enough about this way it, wow. it was like they looked like hotels like it's these really? big yeah these big towers there was a bunch of them and then uh one main office so there was a free coffee machine and like vending oh, machines okay. and shit yeah and also every room had its own walk-in closet and bathroom with a shower so every like my had yeah bathroom. like wow. my first year i had not only my own room but mm. like my own fuck and i i take or leave the the closet i would have rather have had that as like room space but as long as i can fit a bed a desk my sound booth 
and something to put my snake on, I'm cool. Did, Be, but you had roommates. How would you would you so live in th- that? So there kind was of a thing? general living quarters. Oh. There was a big living room. So it, it, was, it came totally furnished. So it, too. it was like your own room then. Yeah. Yeah, you lock the door, everything. It it came really? totally furnished. Dude, that's pretty much a dorm. That's exactly what a dorm is like. Except, like, in a dorm, aren't you... I don't know, like, at least with Western, my understanding is that Well, there's that no you're... bathroom in every room at MSU. I mean, if you go to a private school like Cornish, there will be ba- bathrooms in the dorms. Yeah, but, but, like, Sam did the dorms, and it was him and one other dude in a room together. Yeah, I mean, you don't get to choose your roommates. Like, like well, you kind of do. Th- that like none of that was going someone. on. They set you up with someone. You could you could request shit at Lark, but it was like pretty much guaranteed. Oh, um, okay. And here here's the that's weird. The they thing. must have made it for student student housing. Oh, it, it was student housing. Um, and okay. Jake, Leo, and Derek were all subleasing one room, and they they Wait, were what? able to do that. Yeah. Was it like super crammed or? Yeah, but here's the thing: they they went on the road trip. You know what I mean? They were they like I don't want to out their shit too much here because that's their story to tell. But they went on like a two and a half month, two and a half month long really? summer vacation sleeping in the van. That. So like, if you yeah. ask Derek, I think he said it on the podcast. Like, really? anything is better than the van. So like, to that was compared to the van being in that one room with a bathroom and a shower yeah was awesome and also like a lot of the times one of them would end up sleeping in the living room like on the couch and stuff oh okay because there was so much space dude they had their own they had their own dishwashers fridge laundry machine dryer did like anyone uh, else like live with you guys that you didn't know no no like like there were there were like and these things were big so there was probably two units on each floor and there was three floors and like if i'm gonna guess probably 15 to 25 buildings wow and then there's like a main a main office that also has some like bigger ones off top but i don't i don't really know anything about it lots of parking too uh really really nice and, and dude that was my first year moving was out. it on campus or did you have to like drive no like but tennis? here was another great thing they had a shuttle to western that okay. left every 15 minutes the, the oh, lark bus and wonderful. so brett and i would just go out every morning because again our first quarter and, and we didn't even realize this until him jake and i went to campus to all like help each other look for our classes and brett and i realized we had our eight thirty a.m class together Mm-hmm. So my first fucking college class I have with, with Brett, it was just like that, that first year you were as high as you, where do you go from there? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like the perfect living situation. Honestly. Um, and now I, I have a studio that I got really that's lucky what I was with ask it, about. Yeah. 800 square feet. It's fucking, I mean, that's, that's way more space than I need. It's, it's got a deck, which I never use, but, uh. But it's like just living on by yourself. There's something really, really nice about it, and also you just like by it? oh yeah, dude. What? It's so nice. I do not like living by myself. I don't like being home alone. Well, you know, the just by happenstance, Derek and Sam lived as close as they could live without trying. Five okay. minute walk tops, oh, okay. um, and so I would just scooter down. Did I tell you about the scooter? No. Oh my god, dude! For a long while of this year i scootered to school and back Why? uh because it saved me ass loads of time and I, i'm I'm not even shitting you my my studio is really close to campus mm-hmm. but it's still like when you add it up like a 25 to 30 minute walk to to the classes because you yes. know how that shit goes yeah. like th- the building could be way mm-hmm. way far off way close anyways um but on the scooter, it saved me an ass load of time. And, and Jay Burke, you know, professional scooter bro, yeah. uh, he hooked me up with some really expensive wheels. Some, like, $300 wheels. So, like, the actual scooter or, like, no, actual No, no. So, I got a Razor scooter. And I got it because I like that you can fold them down. And, you know, they're... Re- like, I could, when I go into class, uh, compartmentalize it and just hold it. 
and oh, that's why gotcha. I liked it. And Jackson gave me these really nice, like three hundred dollar wheels, and like Damn. had had to break the back off. And yeah, I was hauling dick. It, it was wow. crazy. I stopped doing it when the weather started getting really shitty because mm-hmm. my pant leg mm-hmm. that like you know is predominantly stationed on the scooter would get so wet <laughs> from the rain and stuff because it you know the wheels oh, just goodness. kick it all up at you. Like there was. I a tried w- skating at MSU, but once the snow hit, like oh that's yeah. So tell me about your experience in Montana because you had never well, been there prior to going to school, right? Yeah. Um, well, I, I, uh, did the orientation, um, like a month in advance, I think. And I loved it. It was incredible. I really liked my first living experience as well. Oh. Um, I was in the dorms and, uh, everyone on my floor got to move in early cause we were all in the same class together. It was super weird. Uh-huh. Um, but we all got super close. Everyone on my floor, we were the 10th That's floor. That's awesome. Yeah, and so... There's something my... cool about being on the 10th floor, too. It's like yeah. a cool oh, well, round number. The dorms were the second... Or the, were they were the tallest buildings in Bozeman. Oh, my God. So north and South Head is where I lived. I have some... I, I sent you some pictures for Weiss Media from out that I window. I know, I have them on yeah. my... On and uh, then, as thumbnails. And the, the building that's in one of those photos was the building I lived in last year. I lived in Roski, and it was... Oh, wait, no. So you did two years in I Montana. did two and a semester before Good I transferred. Good for you. Yeah, but, dude, it was awful. So, like, like I said about skating, like, I wanted to learn how to skate. Like, WonCon, like, helped me. Uh-huh. Is he out there? No. Oh, okay. No. Oh, While I, I was here before, before yeah. I went back, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then as soon as I got there, there was snow on the ground. There's snow on the ground from, like, let me think. Sep- no, maybe the end of September or, like, October. October to like the end of May, there's snow on the ground. Oh my god! It's ridiculous. That's it sucks. snowed so much. I think it was last year that um, both of our gym roofs collapsed. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Holy snow, shit! From the snow. That's insane. So I couldn't even go to the gym last year. Wow. Yeah. yeah you know that I like working out at home. That's yeah. how I started like getting into working out. Was doing the Spartacus workout. And then I got a gym membership and I was into it, but it honestly made it harder to work out because it was really? like, shit, like now I got to go down between like these times because it's so busy and blah, blah, blah. And mm. that's when I like fell off. So I, uh, well, I did sober October and that's when yeah. I started like grinding again. I'm Dude, doing sober I, October again. Last summer, I just was the first time I actually like hit the gym. Really? And yeah, like, cause I, I went to the gym in high school, but I never like, I never, like, tried to, like, expand my limits, you Uh know what I mean? And, like, actually get stronger and, like, go really hard until, like, last summer. And uh, I did it at Mount Side Fitness. I I saw the gains. I remember that. Yeah, I know. I was, I I posted some on my You were grinding. It was, it was, yeah, it was kind of embarrassing. (laughs) Everyone's done it. Everyone's done it. But, yeah, no, um, I, uh. I, I grinded at Mount Sai Fitness, used to work out with my older brother. Oh, and fuck yeah. there's just something about being in that environment and being in that headspace and just, like, no. wanting to get shit accomplished. You're, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you know, it, you really take for granted that you have, to, you have to work out in school. Like, I had this weightlifting class junior year. That's where I met uh, Quanta, the old, the old QVigi. Um and yeah, it was like you could do your own routine, but it maybe Mondays or Wednesdays you'd have to go in and like for like five minutes or whatever do this intense routine that yeah. Brown Brown did. But uh, but dude, it it was like that was a mandatory part of my school day, and now yeah. like getting working out, I have to work into my schedule. It's not mm-hmm. there for me. Yeah, even like freshman year, fit for life. I mean, that class was, that was awesome. Just the gym class? Yeah. Like, that's what they called it? Fit for life, Fit yeah. Fit for life? I, dude, I was, you know, it's so funny. Mm-hmm. There was a uh, pegboard, you know, um, you climb. It's almost yeah, like a yeah, pull-up yeah, thing. Pegboard. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And I, I remember they didn't have pegs, but because they they were, like, still in the process of setting up the gym equipment, mm-hmm. they had all of these things that were, like, fastens for the big giant, um, I don't know, even know what you call them. Like, you remember those big 
red things that had like a pull up bar at the top. You could squat and you could bench. You no, know exactly. I don't. What I, don't I don't. What? Wait, like those are wait, the, if wait, you wait, if you have one of those, you're set. You you basically do that over here. No, it's like it's a bigger thing. Like there were you remember in that that uh, weight room because yeah. all of it was new shit. That weight room was way better than the one at the main campus. Um, they brought in all of this new stuff, and it, it was probably like ten pods like that. I don't think I don't. I actually don't know if I did fit for life. Freshman. Really? Did I do fit for life I, freshman? I feel like I did. I feel like you had I, to. Yeah, and I definitely remember because I went to SMS. I definitely remember That's the gym right. equipment then. Dude, but I, I, don't, I don't remember the new shit that you're talking about. I, maybe I everything didn't. that that was in that gym was brand new, and they yeah. like yeah they, the they, new they, like floors too, right? They needed the floors. I think right? you're fucking right. I honestly From the don't Eagles, know, bro. Oh my goodness, the Eagles. Oh, I guess they would have had to. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, um, these now it's fastens, the Eagles again. like. I can't believe that. Yeah, it's crazy. I never went there for like. I remember oh a- everyone in like seventh grade and stuff going to dances there and talking about how crazy they were, and it just yeah. always seemed like a distant, far off place. Oh my goodness! You know, I, I will. That school, I I I transferred from that school, but I there was there was something in, about in that school. In eighth grade, huh? Yeah, well, I I God, grade. I really felt like it. And was that's where I that met you sense. guys. Well, we had met previously. Well, from fifth football. grade, but yeah. Like, that's when we like. That's really, when, yeah, seriously. Really that's so funny. That's honestly led to some good friendships. That's where mm-hmm. I met Keek too, Mother- motherfucking Henry. Oh, Henry! I I remember I confused yeah. him with sleep oh. my first year because him and sleep <laughs> because oh, we we no. were rookies. Oh my god! And. W- uh, I remember my first year. It it was only like style. it was only like one time, but mm-hmm. I remember they were the only two kids who had played two years, okay. and so I remember we were just doing drills the first couple of days, like throwing the ball around, getting in line, and Henry got behind so me. So I, was on our, I was on our team. I'm trying to because my first two years of football, all was on our team. The senior was the coach, mm-hmm. yeah, and I then my it. last year. Um, yeah. Yeah, was, I'm trying to think. He was just an assistant I? coach. Who? Bleep. Oh, senior. No, he wasn't even on that team. I'm oh, because try- I remember. To think I remember I having played senior as an assistant coach in football, and I remember one time he got he like cussed out a ref and got thrown yeah, out. Yeah, no, <laughs> he, no, he was he, he was a he was a he was the head coach. He, wait, at was the time, and then team? and then he like. He like as he was Resigned. kicked off of the field, he was like, "Well, you know what to do," and pointed to my dad. My dad was like, oh. <laughs> "So he he took over." Oh my god, that's awesome. That's right. I'm gonna have to bleep that shit out. Oh my god, like bleep out his name. Yeah. Oh my god. Bleep. Um, but dude, uh, bleep. that was one of my best friends. Really? Like I met him in preschool. Really? He was he was like my my first friend. I think actually I went to like pre preschool and you know Bleep. Um, yes. He was the first person I think I ever hung out with. Bleep. Um, I was football with us too. Yeah, and I was like conscious of it. But like he was he, like we definitely drifted apart through high school, you know, but um but like uh Bleep. like I have a did I tell you about the uh the Bleep. story with Bleep. Like, it's no. so bad. I don't know if I should I share mean, you, it on you this. I pr- mean, you probably have. I don't know if I should share it on this. It's pretty mean. I feel like... It's your call. <laughs> okay. I mean, we might cut this out, but... Anyways, I I mean, I used to... I Because I had a pass, and he was, like, my first best friend, pretty uh-huh. much. Because we were so young. We uh-huh. just, like, went to the same church, pretty much. Uh-huh. And uh, we were in preschool. And, uh, so I used to hang out with him all the time. We were family friends and I have a bunch of stories about living or like hanging out at his house. So many th- good ones. But, um, this one time, uh, fuck. <laughs> it was in freshman year. We were in g class, Mr. Gabowski. Yeah. I love Mr. Gabowski. And we sat next to, Bleep. uh, uh-huh. Um, who was that blonde kid who was kind of yes. like a gangster? I, I, I remember it. Yeah. Um, 
and he was bullying Bleep. like every day just like hardcore like you're a fucking piece of shit like no one likes you like your dad's I, I, I remember hearing about that yeah and so do you know i'm you know where i'm going do you remember I, this story it, this sounds vaguely familiar okay i think i've told you this before so anyways sleep I, well okay well sleep. I, mom died tragically yes. she, yeah you know that um and this this just happened and Bleep. I said something Bleep. like, um, like, your, like, your mommy doesn't love you or something really stupid about his mom. Uh-huh. And then I said, he says, at least I have. Um, and then before he oh could my. even finish, like, I, like, ripped well, that, him that's from a his low chair. blow. <laughs> yeah. That is about as low as it gets. And then he started, that was like my first like high school fight because like i i was sitting next to him and i was like oh shit like he's about to get his ass kicked so i like hopped in there and like i was throwing punches on top like his headphones ripped out of the computer and the computer fell over and jiva was like holy shit what's (laughs) going on it was in that portable on the freshman campus wow dude yeah you, you know it's so funny what did i ever tell you about my senior project blunder no. Oh, dude, this is so Maybe bad. This is so bad. This is this is okay. This is Dockery's class. Um, no, this Blunder? is this is. I it was presented in G Bows, but this okay. is like you know your your senior project. Yeah. So, I waited until the absolute last minute because okay. Right. Let me preface this by saying that first quarter of school, like <laughs> at Running Start, was a really bad time for me. Really okay. low. That was like the most irresponsible I, I got with my grades. Um and oh, yeah. uh and so I I like couldn't find the criteria anywhere. There was a <laughs> handout that they gave us. Yeah. And it just got buried in some shit and I couldn't find the criteria anywhere online. So I based the whole thing around my interview. And then <laughs> a kid a kid who I won't name I just so I don't have to bleep it out presents before me in G Bow's class and his went for 26 minutes <laughs> and the whole time I was seeing like what I was supposed to be doing you know what I mean like a slide yeah. that's like takeaways and, blah. <laughs> and I'm just like oh my god I am so fucked so I just I literally wa- I was supposed to go second yeah. too I literally walk up to G Bow I'm like I've got a final at BC to take and he's like <laughs> like you can't leave are you serious and i was like i, I don't know what to tell you g Bow. and i just dipped out and then i just had to do it uh in the spring <laughs> oh my god and i nailed it then but <laughs> okay so you were in the fr- i i decided to do it second semester because you could choose which semester to do it your senior yep. year and so you chose first semester well, at least you had that backup, because yep. if you missed last semester, you It was fucked. really bad. <laughs> I remember that project. I worked, like, actually hard on that one, because, like, that was, like, what you were presenting on what you were going to do outside of yeah. high school. Yep. And a lot of people were, like, choosing on colleges, pretty much. Yeah, that that definitely was a interesting time. Dude, you did grad night, right? Oh, yeah. Grad night got crazy. Dude, dude. I, uh, I almost hooked up with a girl on grad night really yeah at which location uh because it was like the family fun center no it was the it was the imax i think the the pacific science center Center. yeah the laser i fell asleep during that burrs and i literally fell asleep like on each other's shoulders maybe i'm just remembering this right? that would that no, would be I the never, place i never like almost hooked like up if <laughs> i know not at that like i mean i like started talking to a girl like at that and then like i thought it was gonna go places and you know yeah. at, at one point so someone i'm gonna again like they'll be nameless mm-hmm. but i would we took a bunch of edibles before we got on the bus no yeah oh yeah and um Oh my God, I, that's so funny. If I, you saw the laser show on edibles, I would. I, I was passed out. Yeah, 
And um, Damn. I remember at one point on the bus ride, bleep, oh. just called from the back of the bus, like, wees. And I turned and looked at him, and, and like, I don't know what I looked like, but I must have looked so baked because he just lost his fucking shit. And I was like, <laughs> oh, this is not good. So at one point, oh I'm just God. like stumbling around the family fun center by myself, and I find a Did group you play of laser kids. Tag? Oh family. yeah! Oh my, that was the best. Dude, part. I, the, 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 the go karts was the best part for me. Did you do the zip line too? I don't think I did the. the zip did you do line. the trampoline with the the? I, I the don't bands. think I did oh, that. Oh, dude, they had everything out there. Dude, um, that was crazy. Yeah, I just stumbled into the putt putt golf <laughs> at one point, and a bunch of kids were yeah. smoking a J, and I was just uh, like, "Are you serious?" Yeah, I was like, "Wow, that's that's bold," <laughs> and <laughs> took a puff and and got out of there. But dude, I remember what? at one point I was Jackson was passing. Who was who was doing that? I don't. I don't want to say. Oh, okay, okay. But I'll tell but you I, afterwards. Okay, yeah, but yeah. Um, Jackson was passenger in this go kart, and, and I was okay. trying to like race Brett in them, and he would just grab the wheel and make a bunch of fucking <laughs> crazy nerd and slam us. And dude, I was <laughs> that kid's so crazy. Um, He's so awesome. I I love that I, kid so much. I I never got along with him, but I thought he his like like his scooter shit. Like it's, people it's gave insane. Him, people gave him shit for it, me included. But it was fucking sick. Like, well, no one he, he, here's that. here's the thing. Like, like es- especially when we were kids, and a lot of kids are just like this. Every kid is like this in some sense. He it would just like, uh, sort of like Derek in the same way. Just like loves fucking with people. Yeah, loves pushing yeah. your buttons. I got it really bad, dude. Yeah. He definitely fucked with me a lot. But you just gotta fuck with him, pet. And and that's honestly just like not even. Um, that's like an allegory mm-hmm. to to just like being a child. It's just like, yeah, do your thing. Dude, who gives a fuck what anyone says, <laughs> dude? I love it. He came up with so many stupid like Weezers is a nickname him and Brett came up with really? that, that just stuck. Yeah, while we were playing hacky sack, it was like an insult. Like, I I don't even know how to describe <laughs> it. Like we it had this we had this spot at the freshman campus where we would hacky sack. And I, at first I sucked at it. And every time I fucked up, they'd be like, Weezers. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, you fuckers. <laughs> and then I just owned it and like made it my Instagram at one point. And, and yes. it just stuck, you know? Yes. Uh, I... Aidenator was another one of them. Aidenator? Aidenator. I feel like I've heard that, but like, that was like eighth grade or, oh wait. Th- that no. was like freshman, freshman year. year. Like, the, no, I, I love it I because it's it so stupid. But dude, I remember Weezers, dude. Weezers. Weezers. Everyone started calling you that. Right? Dude, Inclu- oh yeah, including me, dude. Yeah, everyone. Like Quante, I was hanging out with you, you, you know, Quante all the time. You know what's days. funny is Quante was like the one person who called me Aiden predominantly because really? when we first started hanging out, it was just like the two of us or like mm-hmm. the three of us or like yeah. some some like oddball, but never with the the other boys who called me Weiss. So oh, he's, really? you know what I mean. Wait, so you said you, are you saying that like, like all of the boys like the. North Bend. Boys. Everyone calls me Weiss now. Really? Like Leo Weiss. Everyone. At, yeah. At people I don't even know. That like Weiss. yeah, oh, okay. like like So if they see Not like around. people I don't like know, but yeah, like yeah. people who have seen me around or like call you Weiss. I feel like I call you Aiden sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, totally. But That's it's weird. it's also just like people who know me like through like one of the boys mm-hmm. that again they only ever call me Weiss. and so that's like that's all weird. anyone knows me by when people introduce me at parties it's always uh as Weiss and and okay. people are like reese i get that reese <laughs> you know who you know who gets it the worst <laughs> colvin dude what? people are always like colin <laughs> i think colvin's a dope name i'm not even like i I've, like colvin i never realized so... like i've never heard another colvin until like junior year probably Dude. he told me like in drive throughs and stuff he literally gives people like corbin as a name yeah, and stuff because it's easier it. dude i uh i was in so many classes with colvin dude i love him so much all definition high of high school goofball. we oh, we always had the same classes and I have some funny ass, you know, Snapchat memories. Oh yeah, I have some hilarious Snapchat memories of Colvin, like one or two, from you know, like Mr. Bernatz's class. Yeah, one of year. one of my uh, 
uh, early Snapchat memories is you at Van Houston doing blue steel. <laughs> like, like you're using one of the folding boards off screen, like Dude, waving it so your hair's moving. I think my very first Snapchat memory is uh, from Van Houston, bro. Mine is at the cabin. Uh, no, oh, it's yeah. it's actually... At, you told me that. No, it's actually at another kid's house. Um, yep. Oh, no, okay. My second one, it's you and me at the cabin. This is Slygoons. At Van Houston. That's awesome. Who is that? Bleep. Oh. <laughs> she was, was so dope. weird, dude. dude. I loved her. Yeah, we had a weird weird cast at that place. We had weird relationships with everyone. You, do, you know what? I feel like Bleep. I, and Bleep. I hit on us. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Shauna. For sure, yeah. That's what he called me, bro. You know, uh, hey, Don. Um, <laughs> hey, Don. You know, there was one time I was I was working, and I was going to go to the cabin afterwards, mm-hmm. and I was bummed because I had no money for weed, mm-hmm. and I literally found 30-some dollars on the floor. Did you tell him that? T- tell who? Did you tell? I told Bleep. Oh. So, oh. <laughs> so I was just like, look what I found. I love her. I know she's so awesome, I dude. Love Bleep. Her. I I didn't tell anyone, which I is pretty to, shitty. But I need to catch up with her. I need to snap her, dude. Yeah, it's, I, dude, I it's been a while since I've seen her. Too. Oh my yeah. god, I just have a ridiculous amount of wild memories from that place. Yeah. There was a, there was dude, one time. You know what I have? Huh. The video of. When I I used Scared to scare me. you, <laughs> you got me so bad one time. I got you. So if I remember right, I almost bad. hit you or something. Yeah, like twice. I have both of those videos on my phone. That is so funny. It's yeah. It's hilarious. There was one time I made myself Literally. throw up while I was there, so I could go home. What? Yeah, it was so bad. You I I was having to... such a hard time doing it too. On my break, I went out and tried to do it with a pen. And for the last 30 minutes, I had been trying to do it with a pen in the uh, in the bathroom and just couldn't do it. And I finally got myself to fucking yak, and I just got a little bit on my finger, and I went to the back door. And, you know, the old manager was like, you can't go through this back door when she's here. And I was like, I just drew up like there's some on my hand. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, I, I don't want to get sick. Get out of here. And I was like, whoa. Oh, my goodness. My plan worked. Oh yeah. my goodness! I've Stupid never, sixteen year old. I've never done that. Like, yeah, that's going to extreme lengths. Oh I would goodness. never do that now. That's absolutely absurd. <laughs> I'm serious. What a fucking. Here it is, bro. I don't even know what I did afterwards. Oh no. <laughs> oh god, damn, dude! That's it was. It scary. wasn't even just like a. Like a almost punch you. It was like a lunge. You lunge towards me. That's hilarious. I'll send dude. it to you. That's so I'll funny. Send it to you what so you that can show that haircut video. of mine denotes an era of just dude, like fuckery. The of fuckery. I, it was I never crazy. Noticed how, like, like, it happened, bro. It, like it feel like for for me, like it happened overnight. Like the the wee's long hair is now a thing. Yeah. And I and I didn't I didn't even <laughs> see it approaching. It just hit me. Me neither. Really? But you it, just let it grow out. I just let it grow out. And now I'm really? just so into it, dude. I'm into it too. I'm I think so. It, I think it looks good. Um, it's it's like. It looks really rock band. <laughs> it's the least maintenance haircut I've ever had because really? every every other haircut I've had has required me to like it spend at least like seven yeah. minutes in the mirror putting stuff in my hair and i don't mind that and there's actually something i really like about like dude everyone in montana has long hair i'm sure i've got to have mane mane yeah. well know? like all my friends there at the time like i think my my sophomore year all my friends except for me and this kid named jack everyone had long hair like all the guys and they just throw it in buns like one of my best friends like uh-huh. Charlie Regan had yeah. like the long you sh- I, yeah, I have some pictures of him on my Instagram he's a cool guy but, yeah uh, I've thought about I, I honestly don't want to do the bun I, sometimes really, I put it in a bun. ponytail just when I'm like shaving like, my I face I just think that goes along with like low maintenance yeah like, it, it it's does so but I, honestly like, the headband is is 
I my my favorite way of keeping it out of my face. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, with someone like Jake, he's just had that hair oh, for yeah. so long. It literally yeah. just it doesn't even lay over his face. It it grows back. Because he's always worn crazy. That car I, heart I, beanie. I fucking love that guy. He's he's yeah. like the the closest thing to a real life Captain America that there is. You know what I mean? In terms That's of That's how you see him? In t- absolutely dude or like a Superman. Like a, really? I just see him as like a nice guy who just happens to be like strong. You know what I mean? That Jonah that undersells it so much. Really? Oh yeah. Well, what I I think more than anything Jake is like um, just well, the, I've the never most of, seen the the legends, the, the like bro. dude, like the tree. I, I, like I can tell you some legend. stories tell about me the this tree guy. Tomahawk legend. Well, I I can't really talk on that too much, but he just like used to be really into tomahawks, and and he would throw them in his trees in his backyard. Okay, this is and there was one there was one time he fell out of a yes, tree. That's what I was talking about. Okay, I I'm, about I'm glad you know about that. Yeah, who I, d- who told you? I think you? you might have mentioned it to me before. Okay, he he was fa- I don't know even what grade this was, but he was mm-hmm. falling out of a tree and he stuck himself back in with a tomahawk. So like, like like he's Batman. As he's, as he's falling, he's he falling. Boom! Like... <laughs> whacks this thing into a fucking tree and catches himself. That's and and that's I, I can't. And here here's the thing. I I didn't see that, so I, I can't even really who really it? speak it on it. I don't know. I I, I honestly don't know. That Leo. that might have been something that Jake just told me. And for all I know, it could have been bullshit. But knowing him, I I really don't I think it is. I kind of believe that. But like, what I can tell you is, other than like how virtuous he is, just mm-hmm. like the best moral compass ever. There, did you ever go to the Devil's Cauldron? Oh, we we've been there to to shoot a, a number of times, like that place by County Line, where you like pull over. You know what? You know how there's like if you're driving up towards County Line mm-hmm. on your left, right beforehand, there's a little cul-de-sac. Yeah. And on your right, you pull over and go down that trail. Yeah, we've gone down that trail. That le- down. that leads to the coolest swimming spot in the valley. One oh, of them, really? in my opinion. I've never been there. Bone, I can't believe you haven't been there. This is no exaggeration. Quante went there with me one time. He he called me one morning because he's really not into swimming, or at least wasn't at the time. He called me one morning and was like, you know what? I'm just in the mood to swim. Like, take me to the best swimming spot. First of all, it's like a 25-minute walk out there. Oh, Um, there and back? It's awesome. Nope. There. Beautiful walk, though. Yeah. Uh, We only went, like, halfway down. It's like a big... Um, canyon, yeah, it, and uh, and it's all it's like mostly shaded. Wow. The water is really cool. Cold had a ton of great jumping spots, and it's just so beautiful. And like, it really felt like I was a goonie. Like to get there, you'd have to, you know, do that fat walk and then hop up, get to the river, hop across these rocks, walk across this giant log, laying over some shit. And we would like Damn. jump from waterfalls and stuff. But I took Quante there, and he literally said like. I wanted to go swimming not on an Indiana Jones adventure. And I was just like, all right. And and it, there was one time we <laughs> were there. That's a thing to say. I know. Yeah. And, and on the on the way back, we go to cross the river again. And I, you know, I had, I'm wet, so I have, like, my shoes and shit in my hand. Don't want to carry it, so I throw one shoe across. It makes it. Throw another shoe, hits a rock, bounces, goes into the river. And, like, to really appreciate how crazy this is, you'd have to see this spot. Because mm. it, it truly is a big canyon with, like, a giant just crevice of, like, sharp, jagged rocks below. Well, we're going there. Jake. I'm going to go yeah, there. No, I got to show you that place. Um, that was a perfect time. So. He's a... Uh, he literally chases my shoe. He takes off. And it, it's probably... Wait, wait, so Jake? Jake sees my shoe go. And he's, like, on this side of the river right before before we cross Mm -hmm. and he's just running along that side and disappears and just like to my understanding just like looking into the river and tracking my shoe and he was gone for i shit you not jonah like 15 minutes and we were by that time i had made it to cross everyone was waiting and we were all just like should we be looking for a body i mean it it was fucking crazy and these are like i really can't exaggerate it's like 30 to oh god that that might even be underselling it i'm just gonna say 30 to 40 feet for now we'll get your judgment when we go um which is crazy to be like tracking a shoe like through the river yeah and after like 15 minutes or so he just showed up with my shoe in his hand 
and we were all just like, you have got to be shitting me. That is the most Jake thing of all time. Holy crap. I've never experienced any, him do anything like that. Yeah, there... He, I've only seen his, like, smart, like... I mean, just normal Jake, like, at school. Because we had... We had a lot of classes together, actually. Uh-huh. Um, I think we had some classes in 8th grade and uh, some classes all the way up into senior year. I think I, we were in Bleep. play together. Oh, wait, no, that was junior year. Bleep. I love Kirk. I, I never had him, but my sister oh my was God. his TA, and I've just heard I love Kirk amazing Kirk. things. He's amazing, yeah. Uh, a, kid, a couple kids got caught smoking weed in the greenhouse. That I'm sure that's happened every generation. Yeah. Of, yeah. And so they got suspended for a couple You years. know what's crazy? What? You know where, like, the old math hall was? Yeah. You, you know how there was sort of like that... Uh, the dungeon. Like the... Um, no, at the main campus. Like, I'm... You yeah, know, the dungeon. Oh, I thought you were referring to the teacher whose name was... Like, her room was called the dungeon. No, so we'll there's, clear the, there's the hallway. That, the hallway that's all the way at the end and, of the f- school. There's like that, that entryway cart. <laughs> <Ooh>. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. There's like uh, that yeah. entryway cars can pull into. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you know exactly where I'm talking mm-hmm. about. Right there. Bleep. And I would uh, smoke every morning. Or par- oh parked in, parked right across the street. Right in front of everyone. Literally. I I can't even believe this as I'm saying it. I would pull up in my Subaru. He would pull up behind me in his Ranger. Yeah. And we would get in, rip the bong, and he would just blow it out into the street towards the school. People are dropping off their kids right there. People are like oh scurrying. Goodness, to cl- it Aiden. was it was crazy. Aiden. I put that in the school song. There there's like some line I I'm I honestly can't think of it right now. It's like something about like uh, Mount Sai High School early mornings. Like, oh man, What's drool going? meets the floor. It's yeah, yeah. It's it was bad, but um, Damn. that was that era of like me just being really irresponsible. With Dude, school. you know what? What just kind of hit me is oh. like I kind of miss high school. Yeah, no, like, and here's like, the thing: people will say you're, you're douchey for that, but Brett and I talked about this, and it's like. That is for anyone, really, just, like, being under 18 is sort of, like, this immu- you know, this immunity. Like, I can't go ding-dong ditching now. Dude, And I'll be I the know. first to admit that I want to. Yeah. You know how bad I want to go out ding-dong ditching and, Dude, like... Dude, remember that? I don't... Have- there yeah. were some times yes. with a friend. We'll we'll keep him unnamed, but okay. I just remember we got oh, out I've of Van Houston. People. Oh my goodness, it's cool. But You'll bleep yeah, them I uh, I got we got out of Van Houston, and a friend who was working at Famous Footwear <laughs> just be happened to get out, and we were like, "Hey, we're going to this neighborhood." And the, it was close by, like a, yeah. a two minute drive probably, and it was like we're ding dong ditching. <laughs> Here's what I remember from that: we parked hella far away. Yeah, and we we went to. Uh... Our friend's house. We were going to, but it, you remember it ended up being like too halfway. far. So we, we yeah, got we went halfway, we, which was still far and all downhill. And we were like, all right, we're just going to haul ass downhill and hit as many as we can. Like literally like we'd line up, do a house, <laughs> rotate. Dude, like, it, the, the thing I remember the most is like you and I are on one side of the street. We're running. We think we like got the last of it. And then hear this crazy crashing. Look over. Well, here, here. It was Friday. So everyone had their trash cans out. That's exactly right. Yeah. And so. you you just cam chancellor dove through a row of like four or five of these, right? I yeah. I it, mean, I, mean I, I, I I think it was like I don't know. I I I just jumped on the trash can or maybe it was like multiple. Maybe it was, it was like definitely two. multiple. Oh, I know. You I hit, leaped I hit, through them. I like hit like a couple houses. It was bad, bro. I was. I don't know why. So that was awesome. I thought you guys were gonna start doing it with me. Did you? No. Oh, it was just. Me, it looked like... painful. <laughs> you literally like penguin dove. No, you had you I had your. Just, aunt, I was just penguin kicking diving and like describe it. jumping into trash cans. And, well, <laughs> and then it was people started coming crazy. out. Crazy. And our friend and I just looked over and, and we were like, oh my God, what is he doing? And off to the Subi and Dude, I, got I need, out of there. I need to get out more, bro. That's what happens. Yep. 
<laughs> yep, I know. <laughs> I know. That were, is what happened. My parents were too strict. That, on that's me. why I went crazy. Like eighth yeah. grade. Oh yeah. That's Halloween time. Always reminds me of eighth grade because that's when I started hanging out with a certain group of kids, and, and that's when I really started being delinquent. Like that's the first time I smoked weed. That's <laughs> yeah. the first time I was like really out there ding dong ditching and like yeah. you know what else we used to do what? you know those uh those like pods for your uh oh fuck dishwasher yeah tide pods aren't oh, they wait, no, pods? oh no, no they're, not they're those different. are laundry yeah. machine yeah. The laundry things uh you, we'd spit on because you know they need water to yeah. activate break the seal we'd spit on them <laughs> and rub them in and throw them at houses <laughs> and they would just explode with like blue and green colors really <laughs> shitty if someone did that to my house i'd i'd want to beat some ass but like oh when God. you're a kid you're just like yeah <laughs> like ah, fuck you you know like we were doing all sorts of uh, shit oh like that oh i would God. ask people at like knock on people's doors at like one in the morning and try to c- convert them to <laughs> late night lds it was it was pretty oh bad my God. lds latter-day saints what is that mormons really yeah i didn't even know that uh, the mormon church so the the church of latter-day saints reads the book of mormon Interesting. And, they're, and they're referred to as mormon you know i want to see the book of mormon play oh man you know what i'm talking about i i i know I love South Park and I love oh, Trey Parker. Have you seen Team America World Police? Yes, dude. That's I. If you so haven't funny. seen that movie, yeah. like, oh, I oh my god, I really <laughs> can't suck that movie's balls enough because it is so <laughs> Dirk, funny. Dirk, 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 he's the best actor <laughs> of all time. I, I know, it, I know how it looks, but dude, I just like that humor. Mm-hmm. What I love is that it's it's really they do really intelligent humor and it's yeah. just it wears this like goofy and like immature facade. Yeah, I y- mean, you know what I mean. Their story structure and their writing, the th- is the a, topics that they tackle, their themes. I know exactly. They're incredible. I love I love the irony. I love the satire. I think like they're, they they've exactly. made something on it's it's <coughs> never been done before. Because it's supposed to look like shit, and it's supposed to be... I know. It's supposed to be crappy, but it's also, like, like, it's also, like, on the level of, like, Rick and Morty. It, it's it comes self-referential. To, like, Dude, Rick yeah. and Morty is yeah. fucking awesome. I yeah. resisted the hype on that one, and so I, I love it. But it was always on, <coughs> so I ended up watching it. Rick and Morty is just, like, that's another one that's just like made for me humor i love all the jokes about like multiverses and yeah. fucking like clones and i you... like rick I, I i like the random humor where like he just like says like fucking random every shit. every episode is like the most random shit like the space them. snakes I lo- and, like... oh, have you seen the uh uh the 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 heist one to make morty not want to watch n- not not want to write a heist movie his plan to not maybe it was the new season oh i don't it think i've like, seen it oh then. my god is it is it just crazy awesome it is i just love that dude i just loved how it's it's like black mirror almost you know one of my favorites it, it's like it's an i honestly might be the first season it's an old one but um it's the one where like they have those parasites those shape-shifting parasites that like mm-hmm. plant memories in your brain and they take on characters like oh good old uncle jerry or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. you know what i'm talking about i think so and then like soon before long the house is just filled with all these kooky oh, characters yeah. like a giraffe yeah, and shit and, and they're like parasites and they they get in your head and they're like were your friend but they're actually like an alien like jerry thought one over. of them was like a lover of his yeah Do you, dude yeah. that show is just so ridiculous yeah i love it it's incredible you know i've always thought it'd be cool to do something of that lines like in like the dc universe or like the marvel universe like like i if i was given a way to structure if they were like all right we're gonna reboot the marvel universe i would do it in a way where like each foundational film is its own genre 
You know what I mean? Like, there'd be a horror oh. one. There'd be an action one. There'd be a comedy one. And, like, in the comedy one, like, maybe there's some super dramatic scene in, like, this Iron Man movie. Like, there's all these buildings getting destroyed and stuff. And then, like, in the comedy one, some people are doing something. And you see, like, that scene roll by. And they're mm-hmm. sort of like, what was that? You know, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like that's yeah. obviously a, yeah. a really stupid example. But, like, no, I, I, I like that idea of... You know what made me think of that? What? Do you know the character Booster Gold? No. He's like a... I I really don't actually want to say that. He's uh, not as publicly known DC character. Okay. Who's just like... I think basically his story is like he's from the future and he was sort of like a piece of shit there and he just wants to go back in time with all this future tech and play hero basically. Mm. (coughs) But he's... Uh, hilarious imagine if like Gaston was a superhero and like had all this tech um, okay. and it's it's very like self referential and stuff mm-hmm. and like same with like Plastic Man as a character you'll mm-hmm. throw them in a scene with Batman and everyone else will be like super intense and super dramatic and like comic w- relief doesn't quite cover it mm-hmm. but like these characters just sort of like ground everything in a comedic element if that makes sense i guess so yeah i'm the, like the i really yeah. i really can't explain it you you'd have to dude i've just been well, blown through so many audio comics like yeah i i uh i've only really known dc like the justice league because I, I don't know the comics i've <coughs> never actually like read a comic before you know the what i think would be like the coolest fucking DC thing they can adapt. Did you ever hear of the Injustice games? Yeah. Yeah. The, okay, so that's a com- that was actually like one of the first audio comics I listened to. It's like mm-hmm. uh basically like uh Lois Lane gets pregnant and there's this big plot where the Joker like tricks Superman into killing Lois Lane. And yeah, yeah, and, and then like Superman goes crazy and like punches a hole in his chest and and then, like, takes over the world. Like, slowly takes over the world, and the Justice League split up. It's a really dark take. Like, people are dying left and right. Um, and it's, like, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Cyborg, a bunch of others, like, Whoa. start taking over the world. And Batman and, like, Lex Luthor and other characters lead a regime against Superman. And what I like it is what I like about it most is that it, like, creates, like, the teams are consistent of uh like consist of rather uh bad guys and good guys you know what yeah. i mean like, like the Lex justice league will te- team up with like the sinestro core or like uh okay. yeah like lex luthor and batman mm-hmm. and bane and shit <coughs> really fucking cool and like that i said is really cool. it gets dark like some of the shit the they're movie. doing i know robert and, pattinson I would I I want to see that so fucking bad, Jonah. The movie I want to see right now the most I've been dying is Tenet. Tenet, oh I yeah. I haven't researched anything about it. Um and oh and actually the you know what the other one is huh. Dune and I think oh, I already told you this. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. I already told you this, but um. I'm pumped for that. Yeah, uh, Hans Zimmer, the guy who's worked with Christopher Nolan for those past couple movies. Oh, that um, doesn't quite sell it. Past oh, yeah. couple, he's done so much for Christopher he's, Nolan. He's done pretty much all of Christopher Nolan. I mean, he even really. did the Prestige, right? Yeah, I, I haven't I, seen. I think that. it goes all the way back to the Prestige. It, uh, not Memento though, and I don't know. If, Fuck, if, I haven't seen that either. That movie's incredible. It's told I, I backwards. Know. I know my my mom put it on my list. I I had to watch it in film school, like twice in like two different classes. It's really good. <laughs> It, some say it's his best movie. Han, I just really I just, like Inception. I've got a huge crush on Hans Zimmer just because he's, he's the Zimmer. man. And he, he denied Christopher Nolan's invitation to do Tenet and to make the soundtrack for Tenet uh, because he had his passion project, which is working on Dune with it's, Timothy Chalamet. It, it's so cool he got to see that through. Yeah. Just for his sake, I'm glad I'm, they're I it think it. it's going to be really good if the if if Hans Zimmer loved it. You know, cuz like the old one oh, apparently I trust wasn't his bad. judgment. Yeah, the old one uh, the old one was apparently kind of bad. I really want this new one to be like insane. Uh, I uh, I did his master class and he mm-hmm. was talking about Lion King a number of times and he said yeah. he turned it down a bunch and was just like I don't want to I don't like show tunes. Like I don't want to do 
mm-hmm. like fuzzy animals and they were just basically like no we just want you to do like your thing mm-hmm. you know um so finally he took a look at the script after so much time and uh that's and so basically, perfect. like, his his dad died when he was young. Mm-hmm. And he read, you know, the Mufasa's whole... The dad. whole... Yeah, and, and so he said, like, something to the effect of, like, the theme of that movie, that's the score of that movie, mm-hmm. is like a ballad to his dad. Dude, that, like... And you can hear it. If you, Every time I watch, like, dude, that movie makes people cry. Every time. Not the new one. The original. The new one's still cool. The, the original one. You watch the Mufasa death scene, you cry, dude. That scene where he's, like, talking to his dad, and his dad's, like, a cloud. Like, the music is so... Remember who you The music are. is so good, and it's literally Hamlet. Like, the story yeah. is, like, oh, yeah. Hamlet. But that's sort of what Disney's always done. And the Lion King yeah. is less directly so, but, like, it's not like They're usually, Walt Disney uh, made Snow White. What do they call it? The, the Gr- Grimm Grim Brothers. Grimm Brothers. Yeah. Have you ever seen that, the movie... Grimm? I, no, it's, um, I think it's just called, uh, Grimm Brothers. It's Matt Damon and Heath Ledger. Yeah, I heard about it and I heard Dude, it sucked. it's, it's craptastic. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, mm. it's, it's a, it's not a great movie, but it's really like entertaining. Snow White and the Huntsman. No, I, I'm not a big fan of that movie. Okay. Did you so ever see Bad it. Times at the El Royale? Of course. I fucking Great, love dude. Movie. I, like, who I, was uh, I talking to about that the other day? I brought, oh, I brought that up to my cinematographer, Spencer. Oh, dude, that movie is, mm-hmm. that was like one of the big takeaways for me is like, yeah. it was visually just so, so well done. So pretty. I thought all the acting was incredible. John Hamm. I know. Jeff Bridges was awesome. But my favorite part was like, someone said to the, the heroin guy, uh-huh. uh, the guy who was shooting up heroin, and uh, he shot someone Spoilers. and killed him one. Yeah. No, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> oh my god, it's like, he said something like, uh, or no, someone said to him, "How many people have you killed?" And he said like one hundred and something. And and then you're like, wait, what the fuck just? And then, it shows like the last flashback, and it's the Vietnam scene. Oh yeah. I and just, he's just fucking destroying, like he's raking a sniper, through. And it, Dude, oh, I forgot so... about that scene. I thought that scene, like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, this movie has everything. It's like Forrest Gump. The soundtrack, the story, yeah, the acting, the acting just, dude, yeah, really just like, and, and it keeps you so, like, what the fuck is going on? I love the stereotypical, on? like, characters, archetype characters. Like exactly. The priest, the singer, the, uh, the salesman slash detective, the, uh, the, the like, veteran. runaway... Oh, the runaway, the cult leader. Such interesting Dude, I characters. know. And, and you know, the thing is, that's honestly, uh, I've seen more and more in movies that I like, mm-hmm. is that they don't really try to break the wheel. They they update it. Like, The Mummy is a perfect example of that. The C- Tom Cruise? No. Okay, oh, I haven't, I haven't seen The Mummy. I just Dude. know that they had the Scorpion King one. The Brendan, br- bro, the Brendan, Brendan Fraser, Fraser Mummy. Yeah is like the perfect action movie there i watched a whole video on why it's why it's like the perfect action movie why it's so good is for the reason i just said and because it's so self-referential like and again like i uh you should really god i can't believe you haven't seen that you should watch that and then just the first watch the video why again why it's so good is it's really like it's stereotypical characters jones or like parts of the caribbean it's scarier it's like yeah, like a scary take on that. Like the mummy is there's some like not great CG, but the mummy really is pretty scary. Um oh. and there's lots of like cringy moments, not like bad cringy, but moments where you're just like, "Oh, like that's that's pretty creepy." But it's just like okay. It it is like a class and a classic action uh movie in the sense that there's like sword fighting and like you know, traveling through temples and swinging mm-hmm. on fucking vines or what have you and stuff. Um, Interesting. And th- again, like it, they work so well because they they just like almost like point out how absurd it is. Like there's a line somewhere in the movie about like what's the plan, and someone's like, uh, "Defeat the bad guy, grab the girl, and ride off into the sunset or something <laughs> like that." Yeah. And that's you know, God, mm-hmm. the second one's not very good. Is that the the one with Dwayne's? 
Yes. Scorpion. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the CGI is ranked like one of the worst CGI effects oh, yeah. of all time. It's awful. It's terrible. But the the first Mummy movie is definitely worth watching. I'm honestly surprised you never. I'm gonna saw watch it. it now. I'm actually gonna watch it. Have you ever seen? I'm X-Men going to the two. border tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah, right. I've seen all the X Men. Dude, I, I in my opinion. The opening to X two is one of the best action sequences ever. Which one is that? That's How that's the one where Nightcrawler is just teleporting around the White House, just taking out guard after guard. You know what I'm talking about? He like punches someone and disappears and starts running, and they're like multiple subjects, multiple to like get to the president. Okay. You know what I'm? I don't oh, remember. Oh no, that's I, the best I part of like all of them though. That's and I've that's seen maybe the, I've seen the 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 stupid Deadpool like the original Deadpool. Oh my god, it's yeah. horrible. But other than that, I I honestly like uh, X Men Origins. It it gets a lot of shit, but I thought the first scene was really dope. The, oh, where the, they're traversing through all the all wars. The wars. Yeah, insanely dope. dope. I also like mm-hmm. Leave Shriver or exactly. whatever as Sabretooth. Yeah, Sabretooth. That's the guy I was. He yeah, he was good. To. He's he's good in a lot of shit. Did you see Spider Verse? Of course. That's Whoa. one of my favorite movies. So fucking well done. It's incredible. That that honestly made me think like maybe I want to do an animated movie more than a live action because they just yeah. nailed the style so hard. And it enabled them they're to They're gonna to, make a new one. I can't wait to see it. I know, they're gonna make some some spin offs that, too. That post Malone song. Yeah, straight up slapper. So Lee. That, I, I, like I, I do like it was song. Miles Morales though that was my favorite I know, part I know I was sick of three Peter Parkers dude I don't okay fuck what's that kid's name I know his name the new one look if you if fuck you, you dude you're you're a Tom Holland hater I hate Tom Holland you no, Toby, son of a bitch Tobey Maguire dude Tobey Maguire I cannot handle i i, I can't even believe that jonah Dude, i i can't believe i grew up on toby mcguire i, I get that but you of all people think that what? toby dude there's moments in those movies dude so, he's okay, carrying third, scenes with a stupid fu- i wish i take, could just pull up take this out the third movie take okay i am movie. taking out the third movie and the the second one great and here's the thing i love those movies mm. Uh, Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin, yes. crazy yes, awesome, so good. dude. That scene where James he's Franco. he's in his house and like it's like, like he's the like mirror. talking to himself and looks yeah. in the mirror, really awesome. Uh, mm-hmm. Don't know his name, but Doctor Octopus, crazy fucking his, awesome. Who else is he? He's he's in, in other, all sorts he's, of shit. Yeah, he's in all um, stuff. C- crazy awesome. Yeah. Uh, James Franco, like you said, what do crazy you think about awesome. the girl? Uh, who played Mary Jane? I forgot her name. She's she, also she was Marie good. Antoinette. She, oh yeah, that's right. She's and she was also an interview with um, the vampire. She was. I was just, dude. dude, dude did you hear they're she's remaking that? No with, way. With Jared Leto as Lestat. Oh. I I that didn't I didn't realize people based hated off him. a novel. And there's a series. Oh, there's like a series. It, it's a series. Oh, Christian Slater's in that like, too. I was watching. I was like, this is not a three act structure. This isn't like normal no. movies. It, it had a five act structure and it was it was heavy awesome movie yeah awesome yeah, yeah it was like know, reading a novel I, I didn't realize people hated Jared Leto dude um until when I saw what? Tron was trending on Twitter when Disney announced they were moving forward with a new Tron with Jared Leto people were making memes that were like when you see a new Tron movie when you see Jared Leto's attached to it and people are you know like barfing mm. or, or whatever it is <laughs> and I was just like wow I didn't realize i didn't know that like either. i'm a i'm a big jared leto fan yeah. everything i've seen of his i've been I've into only it. seen requiem for a dream i haven't seen that that's Club. that's the one where he's a those he's like were a druggie, some incredible right? performances i think and dallas, dallas buyers club, club got yeah. him an oscar yeah that was his first oscar but both of them were his oscar first worthy. huh yeah what was he's this on, I, I think he's only had that one well, good for him. I, I didn't see that either, but, but from yeah. what I understand, I think he he's deserved in Mr. it. Nobody. I saw him in Suicide Squad, but they took all of his shit out. I mean, he was probably he was cool. robbed. But yeah. even even then, but like the director's cuts coming out soon. The yeah no, and I I thought so the we'll tattoos were too much, but I don't know. I uh, other than I, I thought like I think, like, I think they could have done tattoos, but the damaged one on his forehead, I really can't. I yeah, can't get over that. Yeah, it was too hot dude. topic. 
know? You know, you know, want to hear something interesting that I'm just not with? What? Okay, how familiar are you with, like, the Robins? You know, oh. like, Batman's sidekicks? Yeah. N- not very familiar. Well, I know the original one. Dick like Grayson. George Clooney. Oh, oh. I don't mean, like, movies. I mean, like, I how know. familiar with you are, are you with, like, the lore of the Robins? I don't know anything about it. You're shitting. No. Okay. Well, if you don't mind, I'll give you a brief rundown. Okay. One of the first one, the original is Dick Grayson. Okay. Uh, his family, he was an acrobat. Like, basically, mm-hmm. his family was killed in a performance, and he, like, investigated it. And, oh, and so Batman. there's been multiple Robins? Yes. Okay. So and it's he... not one guy. No. So no. someone can earn to be in that position pretty much sort of it's okay. all it's all been like by circumstance like the most recent one was made in like 2012 probably damian mm. wayne it's like a secret son batman had you know rachel ghoul no he's the bad guy in the first nolan one Ra's al ghoul oh, they call him yes, that yes yeah okay so in the comics rachel ghoul is like thousands of years old and he has this pit called a lazarus pit that that he like bathes in and it rejuvenates him cool. and um he's got a daughter named Ta- they're also called the league of assassins not the league of shadows okay. but basically i'm sort of telling this backwards now long story short damian wayne is R- rachel ghoul's grandson okay um and he was raised as, as an assassin until he was like 10 and then he was sort of like d- dropped off with batman and he's taken off i'm not a huge fan of, of the character but anyways the the first one is dick grayson mm-hmm. um that's like the way original like in the movies that's the mm-hmm. only one that, that's ever been played i think uh and then he like eventually grows up and becomes nightwing which is his own character oh. way fucking cool yeah. nightwing is one of my favorite dc characters the second one is Jason Todd, and he was a bit of a fuck. And this is another thing I think would be, like, the best Batman storyline ever. Like, Jason Todd was always really, like, way more aggressive mm-hmm. and shit. Um, and he was beaten to death with a crowbar by the by Joker, Joker. And then blown up. And then he, depending on which story you go with, uh, he was brought back. The most popular story is that Ra's al Ghul feels responsible, and he, like, puts him in the Lazarus pit or whatever. And he comes back as a vigilante called Red Hood, which was, like, Joker's first moniker. And he's ju- he's a vigilante, but he kills now. So, like, him and Batman are, are at odds. And that is, like... That's what I was... Oh, I was talking to Ryder about that earlier. I was talking to my brother earlier about mm-hmm. how I think DC is missing an opportunity uh, with, like, Red Hood could totally be their Deadpool. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Fill that rated R, like sort of gory oh, yeah. like edgy because isn't daredevil canceled <sighs> yeah so so sad i didn't know i had never watched it dude i saw that one i've seen some crazy that's that's some that of the best done. fucking yeah they have awesome marvel content i've seen I've, and the iron fist apparently was really good but oh I no iron either. fist was the one that was ass right. I, so i watched the first season of every one of them there was luke cage which was mm-hmm. cool jessica jones was cool um, and then they did one that was a crossover, which was only one season, mm. which was cool. And then also Punisher came later. Yeah. He was in the second season of Daredevil and he was so fucking mm-hmm. good that they gave him a just, they just ordered a show, mm. which had two seasons that were awesome. But yeah, Marvel, I think they just have new plans for those characters. So they're writing them off as non-canon. And mm-hmm. do you think the same actors will be playing them? Damn. I, I basically think they're going to do their best to distance I think the Punisher themselves. might be... Because he was perfect. He them. was so... You know, I got my picture taken with him. Really? At, at Comic-Con. He was in, he was in uh, Baby Driver in the scene he we was. filmed. He was. John Berthold. Same with Jason Momoa. Oh, I love... I love Jason You, you know what was dude. so do, so dope, too? I we were uh, There was, like, a big holdup with the printing of the pictures, and so we had the one with Jason Momoa, and we're waiting, and he's walking by with his security guards who were, like, two two feet smaller than him, and he's he literally walks right by me on the escalator, and I, like, hold up the picture that I got with him, and he just gave me a shock and walked off, and I was like... Dude, he's I, such a cool guy. Dude, I, I literally hadn't even seen him in anything at that point. Because I, I really? was too young to watch Game of Thrones. Um, and so oh, we man. went home that night and watched Conan the Barbarian. 
and uh oh i never seen his version of that it's all right it's decent it's a good action i loved him in uh aquaman i can't wait to see him in the snyder cut dude yeah because in that he's like the direction they were taking him was way more of like a drunk bastard I I can't wait to see. He's so off. Let's watch it together. Dude, what a... Oh, oh, gotta commend Zack Snyder on that decision. We should, we like, should do... Yeah. We should watch how that. else would you have... I, I've always thought Aquaman was an underrated character, but like... Yeah. What a way to shatter the public's expectation of what that character could be. <laughs> exactly. First of I all... Lo- I loved all of... His, his casting choices. I mean... Henry Cavill's great i like Superman. ezra miller is that his name i like him as the flash did, right? did you see the video of him choking that chick what dude his his role as the flash was in question semi recently because a video went viral of him choking a fan and slamming her to the ground while he was drunk you you, you should find it Ezra. It's crazy. I, and I know it no. sucks. Have, you've seen Perks of Being a Wallflower, of right? Of course. It's amazing. You know what's that. so funny? He's the, also in the Harry Potter shit. One of the first tweets I saw was like, he had to do this right as they put Perks of Being a Wallflower on Netflix. Like, fuck. Oh, okay. That movie's awesome. That was freshman year when I watched that. That movie changed me. It, dude, me too. I'm straight up. Really I know that good. sounds dramatic, but straight up. That's Emma Watson's best movie, probably. I'm just I you're so, you're but right, all, but, but I'm just so Harry partial Potters, to Harry Potter. Harry Potter's are incredible. She's incredible, but that's that she shines yeah. in that movie. If dude, if Emma Watson everyone wasn't shines in, it, in that movie, but dude. If, if Emma Watson wasn't in it, it wouldn't have been that good. You're right. No, but Emma Logan Watson, Lerman's oh awesome too. I think, but like the em, Emma Watson the did theory. did. As or yeah, Ezra Miller was incredible. Emma Watson was well. It's hard because he's those were show. great performances. I was gonna say like he Emma also, Watson did. I kind of didn't like him because of Percy Jackson. You bastard, Logan Lerman. I always thought he would be they a good Tim so Drake, who was the third Robin. Dude, I uh, I I when I get older, and I run out of movies I want to make, I just want to make Percy Jackson right. Dude, right, right from the books. There, there are two two things I want to do really bad. One, a Batman movie where a lot of it is done from the criminal's perspective, oh. because like, as of now, uh, when so you're playing sad. the games and shit, you see him like press a button and the lights go out, or like throw a smoke grenade, mm-hmm. or like get shot and it goes through his ca- like. From the criminal's perspective, the lights go out. Like especially in his earlier years, like a really good example is the uh, the Year One movie. Mm-hmm. Great, uh, Brian Cranston voices Commissioner Gordon. Oh, and okay. I think I was just telling you about Breaking this. Bad. And the dude who was Commissioner Gordon on Gotham voices Batman, uh, and it's okay. cool because the story is basically Gary no, no uh, on Gotham. Oh, on Gotham. Uh, Why do I think of none um, of those things? Oh, the the story is basically okay. split. 50 50 between bruce wayne and james gordon and it's like james gordon's first year on the force like That's learning sick. the ways of gotham and batman's first year one thing i love about it before he develops the bat suit he literally like will put like prosthetics on his face or wear mm. human masks and go out and kick ass or whatever and secondly like they really do emphasize the thing of, like, people don't know if he's real. And the people who do think he's, like, some demon. Like, there's a cop at one point who Dude, got I his ass kicked. Now. HBO Max. You should watch I it. He, it. He's, yeah, like... I have everything. I, he's, I, I don't want to, like, spoil anything too much, but he basically says, like, yeah, I was busting up this deal when this demon dropped down and we shot at it, but bullets flew right through it. And, like, yeah. the whole time he's narrating, it's like showing it from Batman's perspective and they shoot and it just like goes through his cape or whatever. Damn. And I, I love that notion of just like doing it from their perspective. Cause it's yeah. so terrifying. Um, yeah. and the other thing I really want to do is a one shot, meaning one movie, justice league movie set in the sixties. Like where they're in the classic, like they're actually wearing cloth clothing and like the underwear on the outside and shit. I just think that would be, that has so much pot- rated R too, of course, but that that has so much Dude, potential. No one's gonna. Oh my god! If that kind of project got in the green light, that would be so cool. That but era would just, just be. I just don't think it's, it's never happen. been explored. I don't think it's gonna happen. 
Maybe one day. They're, they're going to run you out know, of ideas you know, at some okay, point. Bro, you know what's about to happen to the movie industry? Hear about the new Mulan? Yeah, going to streaming for 30 bucks. 30 bucks on Disney+. So, Plus. Yeah. If that works, Netflix is going to be like, well, then we're going to charge for our Netflix originals. Yeah. And so everything, there's going to be... Yeah. You know how there was a YouTube apocalypse? There's going to be, like, a streaming apocalypse. Like, huge... And everything's going to be twice more expensive because you have to pay for the streaming platforms and for well, I'm not certain buy exclusive content. If my family well, buys gonna, it, I'll, gonna, I'll watch yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going to buy it with someone. I'm gonna, I am gonna. I told someone I'd watch it with them. God damn, dude. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I, All I'm saying is one day they're going to run out of ideas because they're going to keep milking that forever. That's why Batman Beyond will work. Is It's Batman, but it's such a different version. Mm-hmm. And who knows? Maybe at that point we can do that movie together. Hell yeah! That'd be so awesome. I, I hope it. I hope the film industry doesn't become more corrupt throughout the years. And I want. I just want theaters to make a comeback, bro. And like drive-ins to make a comeback. I know. Have you seen the models for like social distance theaters that look like the no. Senate from Episode Three? Dude, then I'm just gonna fucking make. <laughs> It, it, they literally do. I, they're like it's pods so like, like that. They're just like in. Oh <laughs> it's God. awesome. I've that honestly be that cool. Perfectly. I mean, yeah, but I don't know. I think we just need more drive-ins in America. If I like, if I, I end up making money, percent agree, dude. If I make a lot of money with my uh, film stuff, you know, I want to start owning like theaters and drive-ins all across America. There's got to be, you know, you just gotta like find some way to revolutionize the theater experience. I was and, thinking and you... about doing 3D theaters with, like, the flames and, like, the smoke. Oh, and, like, that's the rumbling like, So, like, 40. Or, yeah, 40 theaters. So, um, see, I've thought about that. But it's too much. Y- you it's know what I'm much. thinking? You gotta go along the routes of The Mummy where you're you're breaking... You're not breaking the wheel. You're updating the wheel. Like, it's... it's that's one of those ideas that I feel yeah. like is just on the tip of my tongue. And I'm overcomplicating it in my head, so I'm mm-hmm. just seeing right through it. You know what I mean? Like, there is an obvious way to just uh, affordably change the theater experience up in a, in a way that will revolutionize it going forward. And I'm just too, uh, too... I just, like, overthink things too much to see it, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Like, maybe maybe we'll do that together one day. Let's, let's work on it. That'd be, and, that'd and be also cool. also, let's watch those movies together. Like, you gotta see uh, Memento. Yeah. I wanna see the Batman one. and The Batman? Like, no, the, no, no, the no. new one? The one that you were just talking Oh, about. year one. Year one. Or is but, it a game? The what? Or, or did you wanna show me a game? Video of a game? No, I wanna oh, see Oh, Bona. The Arkham Asylum game would be the best Batman movie ever made. And the biggest reason is really? because... Because I think it, you can find it on YouTube. As, like, the cutscenes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, you can. Okay. It's... What I love about it is... I mean, you know the raw premise, right? No. Batman... I've never played any Oh, of my God, games. dude. What I love about it the most is you just jump into a fully established Batman universe. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, you're familiar with the Arkham Asylum, right? It's like the mental institute. Yeah, and, you know, like yeah, th- they had a version in like Joker and like the Nolan movies or whatever. Yeah. But basically, you're taking Joker to Arkham Asylum, and it's been this like thing that he's planned f- forever or whatever. And he escapes, but it's on this island. So Batman is stuck in Arkham Asylum with like all of his enemies, like Killer Croc. Oh, shit. And fuck, dude, it's so, at Poison I- Like, so so fucking awesome and like i said i love it because you just jump into the established universe Damn. um yeah those games all had really really cool stories you know what's funny is uh the other night i just watched some like random bts video for the mm-hmm. newest one commissioner gordon is voiced by mike from B- breaking bad oh which i was like yeah. i watched that and i was like oh i can't believe i didn't hear it yeah. and then it gets to scarecrow and i can't ever think of its name his name but he's the dude in Lord of the Rings who thought his son died. You know what I'm talking about? Like the asshole at uh, Gondor. That guy? That old dude? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like at, at, Voromir's brother? I think it's Voromir's dad. Or, yeah, dad. Um, yeah. 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 He was in Fringe. 
I never That's saw the, it. Dude, I, I gotta watch that. My parents also put that on my list. <laughs> Apparently, big multiverse shit. I'm super into that. Yeah. Apparently, that's what the next Flash will be. Slash? Flash. Flash. Gotcha. Did I ever tell you my idea for a Nightmare on Elm Street prequel? A secret no. prequel? Oh, dude. So, really tell me what you think about this. Okay. One... Uh, the whole idea came from the fact that it, it would be a secret prequel, so yeah, it would so be its it would be its, its own movie. Ones. Okay, yeah. Like Freddy Krueger would be in it, but he wouldn't be like the dream demon yet or whatever. Okay. Here's my idea for a fresh take. Basically, this first one it'd be a two part story. This first one, um, is just like there's a conspiracy of children going missing in a town, and basically. It would all wrap up, wrap up to the fact that uh, Fred Krueger is, like, leading this cult of people who worship a dream demon. And, like, that j- dream demon in the scripture, like, has some, like, clawed hand. So, like, the finger glove comes from, like, a cult outfit that he wears. Like, he puts a, he puts the glove on and, like, wears some, like, you know, some, like, big headpiece and That's all these sweet. people in the town, like, sacrifice kids or whatever. Um, and then, like, that that movie wraps up with the people in the town like finding out about this and burning it down and you know like he yeah. he gets burned alive inside and then the second one would just be the the traditional Nightmare on Elm Street gotcha. where he's you know like the dream That's demon sick. or whatever the, the I love that idea it reminds me of like did you see Midsummer? no I did not oh, it's, it's pretty good I mean I didn't like the third act I thought it was like weird not as good as Hereditary but but, um, dude, I gotta tell you, uh, before I saw any Nightmare on Elm Street, uh-huh. my dad told me that he thought it was the scariest movie he's ever seen. It's scary. He, he saw it when it just came out, like a year when, he just, when it just came out. So he was like, I don't know, in his teens. And his dad said he could watch it, and so he did. And he, he was the oldest in the family, so he slept downstairs in the basement. And he told me that he always thought that Freddy Krueger would hop out with his, uh, Loves and kill him. Dude, I got obs- I think I've told you about this. I mm. was obsessed with Night Run Elm Street and he as just a kid. Couldn't go to sleep. Dude, yeah. it's it, the first one is especially Johnny when you Depp, think about dude. when it came out. Yeah. You've seen it, right? Of course. Dude, and it's also pr- pr- pretty gory. My dad, he uh he made up an origin story for Freddy Krueger. Uh-huh. And I thought it was the sickest thing. About what? About Freddy Krueger. So like, but, like I, what is we it? were like we were we were like at a campfire uh-huh. um we were camping and i was like dad tell me it's a scary story and he's like i i don't i'm not really good at like coming up with stuff and i was like come on dad you can come up with something so he made up an origin story for freddy krueger uh-huh. and it was about uh this is how it went it was like um this kid freddy um his dad didn't want it to see him so he threw him in the basement uh-huh. next to the furnace and it was a really small basement and he had to sit next to the furnace. And uh, he and he never got out of that room. He would always just stay in the furnace and the dad. Just like cook up. Yep. Jesus. And he just slowly burned alive. And then he started singing, one, two, Freddy's coming for you. And then he died. And I don't know. No. He, and, you know, and you know what's interesting? The, oh, no, they, they had a show. There Mm -hmm. was a show. I never watched any of that, but apparently there was, like, some... There was a slight difference in the show and the Mm -hmm. movie about the origin. Because in, like... In both, basically, he was he was found guilty of something, but in one, he wasn't read his Miranda rights, and that's how he got off. And in another, Mm -hmm. it was, like, the cop, like, that found the evidence raided his house illegally, and so he was let off. But that was the bottom line. And in both versions, he was he was I let to, off. I want to learn um, more about Nightmare on Elm Street. In we'll the, talk more about this. In the new one, they remade it with Jackie Earl Haley. And in that, mm. he was a ki- he was like a gardener at the school or I whatever. I never saw the new one. It's all right. Mm. Uh, he was like a gardener at the school or something. And yeah. he would just like fuck the kids in the basement, I guess. In that, they like really made him. A big pedophile. I think in the originals, maybe it's just like implied, but I think in the I originals it was just like I never like, was. I never got the. He was a pedophile. It at the very least, he was a child murderer. He killed children, yeah, and that's I why I didn't know. He do was do a you know the actual though. origin? No. He 
he was called the Springwood Slasher. He was just a regular dude who was abducting children and killing them. Mm. And it's I think it's just implied in the originals that he diddled them. Mm-hmm. Um, but in in the new one, I just remember what, they like, like full books? blown. Are they books or what? No, it's just sort of like talked about in the in the movies. But in Freddy vs. Okay. Jason, they like show it. Oh, okay. Um, and ba- basically, the townspeople burn him alive. They get fed up. So that's where, like, in that take I told you of mine, that's where that comes from. Is gotcha. like they have him pinned up in his house, and in like the Freddy versus Jason version, he's like making a, a book of kids he's killed, and like adding like pieces of uh, newspaper about him, or whatever. And mm-hmm. and uh, the townspeople burned him alive, just like threw some Molotovs in there, and he and he died and in the in the new one it was something similar but he was just like running away and ran into some random building and they just roasted him but Hell but yeah. in both it's like a conspiracy with the parents you know what i mean like the parents of all the kids are getting are into they it. like elementary school or like teenagers no they're they're teenagers but okay. like in the new one i think there was something about suppressed memories or something there was some like weird element to that that sort of fucked it up but uh, Jackie Earl Haley wasn't a bad Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Did you ever see Watchmen? Yeah. Dude, d- re- I'm not a big fan of that movie, but there's two lines that are just incredible. One, when he's Rorschach's in jail, mm-hmm. and it's someone tries to fuck with him, and he, like, boils their face or whatever, and he's mm-hmm. like, you don't understand. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Yeah, that's I awesome. That. I remember that. Secondly, at the end, when Ozymandias reveals his big plan, and they're like, "We're gonna stop you," and he's like, "You think I'm like some comic book villain that I would give you my whole plan if there was a chance you could stop it?" I I detonated those bombs thirty five minutes ago. <laughs> like that was I I it took me three sittings to get through that movie. Yeah. But uh, when I watched that, I was just like, "Wow, all right, Zach, I see it." I mean, I mean, a lot of people hated that. I, I didn't like, but. oh, God. Here's the thing. When it came out, I was too little to watch it. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to see it so fucking bad. And that's why it took me three sittings. Is like, if I didn't want to see it so bad as a kid, I just would have turned it off and never finished it. I have to rewatch it. it the action's good. It's been a while. The action's really cool. I just really remember cool. there's like a fucked up, like, the death at the end. Zack Snyder's just got an eye. Mm-hmm. For I I think his deaths are really good. Like the the gladi or the uh, the three hundred when the son dies. Oh that, my god! When he gets beheaded, that was like one of the first like on screen deaths that like hit me in the stomach, and I was like, oh shit, I can't my, breathe. Mine was probably a Disney movie. Really? I'd, I'd really yeah. yeah. Do you remember when the the like son Bambi's gets beheaded? Mom. Oh yeah. Oh my god, dude! There's that was a fucked. You, you know, you know, you know, Logan's my favorite movie, right? Really? Oh, yeah. I love dude. that movie. That's my favorite movie. I think of it's all one time. of my favorite. Uh, um, it's like top 10 best, probably top five best uh, uh, superhero movies. Yes, for sure. I dude. like the Nolan Batmans and I like the Raimi uh, Spider Man. The, the Nolan Batmans did the perfect job the at making a, a grounded Batman, you know? Yeah. Uh, like God, I just love the sort of ridiculous aspect. You know, like mm-hmm. that's another reason I love the Arkham games. Like, uh, Scarecrow in the Arkham games has a Freddy Krueger type glove that's just like syringes of his fear toxin that he injects. Dude, oh. the whole Scarecrow portion in Arkham Asylum is like straight up. It's like fear, like Dead Space, where you're just walking around a morgue unzipping <laughs> bodies in there. Damn, it's awesome. Yeah, you know. Killian Murphy though killed it. In, oh, he kills. He kills it in everything. Everything. He's one of my favorite actors. <sighs> Have you seen Peaky Blinders yet? Yes, I saw the first season. I think I'm on season. Like I'm on episode two of season. No, episode three of season three. H- Have you seen Four Brothers? No. Dude, do you know what it is? Mm-mm. Mark Wahlberg, Tyrese Gibson, Garrett Hedlund, okay. Andre Three Thousand of Outcast. The the premise, it's in Detroit, I believe. The premise is there was this chick who would basically take shitty kids out of foster care who would never had a chance of getting adopted, make them stand-up citizens, turn them back into, you know, society. And there were four lost causes. 
these four brothers and she gets murdered and so everyone returns to Detroit I think it's in Detroit everyone returns to Detroit to solve her murder and it's so awesome dude uh Terrence Howard is also in it he's a local cop and uh a gangster I can't ever remember his name he voiced Scar in the new Lion King and he was oh, in yeah. Doctor Strange yeah what's his oh he was also in 12 Years a Slave I think I remember this guy. Is. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, Dude, awesome. Andre 3000 kills it in right. that movie. Uh, uh, also, Sophia out. Vargara is in it, uh, I think. You know a movie I, I really loved, but I hit at the ending? Huh. Um, from Dusk Till Dawn. What? Well, dude, I that was, a te- that was like my... Those characters, and I don't know, maybe Django was better, maybe Reservoir Dogs is better. Of course they're better. But... The setup and the plot of those two fucked up characters. The two brothers that just, like, robbed the bank. One it, of it's been like a while a, since I've seen that. One of them is, like, a fucked up, like, serial killer who, like, tortures people. <laughs> What's fun. in Mexico? Mexicans. <laughs> I love that part. And then part. they just fucking, they were, like, act three, add vampires. Vamp- y- you know, here, and here's the thing. So when I was shown that as a kid, I didn't know that vampires were going to be in it. So that yeah. was a, a fucking crazy moment for me. But I've, especially as a kid, always been into vampire werewolf shit. So it was like a pleasant surprise me for me. Yeah. Um, dude, like Van Helsing, love that shit. You know, with Hugh, Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale? Mm-hmm. You know, you've seen that, right? I haven't. I haven't. It's awesome, dude. Really? That I probably had it's, more wait, Van Helsing toys than anything. It's Dracula and, like, werewolves and what? Bride I've never, of Dracula. I've never what? Seen that. From, like, 2003, probably. Wait, what's it called? Is Van it Helsing. Bell. Van Helsing. You know, like, you know, like, the tale of Dracula. Van. How do you spell it? Van Space. Helsing. Yep. Um, you've no, seen Bram like Stoker's. Yeah, it's, Bram it's Bram an Rogers. action movie. You've seen Graham's, Bram Stoker's Dracula, right? Maybe. Jonah. I don't even remember, bro. Okay, that's the superior movie by anyone's standards. Came out in the 90s. Keanu Reeves. Winona Ryder. Oh, Dracula yeah. is played by... I can't believe I'm it's, blanking on his name. It's, I it's know Sirius it Black. Anthony Hipkin. No. No, Alan Rickman? No, not... Anthony Hopkins is Van Helsing in that movie. It's oh, he's No, Van it's... um, It's... It's Alan Rickman. Fuck not Alan Rickman. God damn it. He's he's we were just you just confused him. Uh he plays Commissioner Gordon in the Nolan. Oh, Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. Mm. And he does a fucking awesome job. Winone is great, of course. Anthony Hopkins yeah. is great. Keanu. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. That wow, I'm I'm honestly surprised you haven't seen that one. Yeah. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen. If it was like PG thirteen, I wasn't allowed to watch until oh, no. I was thirteen. It's R, for yeah. sure. Well, most of those old, like, 2000s, like, 90s through 2000s, I don't really like that, uh, those movies. I, I usually watch movies from, like, really? the 70s to the 90s. Usually. So, you but you've seen Lost Boys, right? Yeah. I, but, I mean... Such an awesome movie. Not all the way through. Yeah, no, I haven't seen oh, it. Dude, I was, I was so into that as a kid. I need to Key watch for it, yeah. Sutherland... Mm-hmm. Uh, both Everyone's Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. It's a good one. Silver Bullet, Stephen King mm-hmm. flick, Werewolf. You know what I got into as a kid, and I regret it. Huh. Teen Wolf. I That's, got into that. that that show. I got. With I watched Tyler the f- Perry and Dylan O'Brien. T- uh, I don't know when I stopped watching it. Actually, I, but it I was into the first couple seasons. seasons. Do yeah. you remember the Canima or whatever yeah. the lizard? That was sick, dude. That was sick. That was like that was the best season for me. Th- that dude was also on Arrow, for a while. He he played yeah, like his sidekick. So oh my god, Colton, I think it was. Yeah, in the Col- show. Colton Haynes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah dude, I, I was fucking into that show. Me too. Uh, for the, yeah, that might have been the last season. Of, you know, I I think it was because, right around that time, the the like, pa- ban on Game of Thrones and True Blood was lifted. You know, are you familiar with True Blood? Yeah. Um, my parents, I never watched it. my family was really good for the, the last two seasons suck, but 
it's like Louisiana. Mm -hmm. What I like about it is, uh, in the show they call it vampires are out of the coffin, meaning like the world knows vampires exist and true, true blood is a synthetic blood. So like they go to a bar and they're like, be negative, warm, please. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and there's like, you know, people who sleep with vampires are called fang bangers and there's like, but there's all sorts of shit. Were panthers, fairies. I mean, it's, and the Louisiana setting is, is so, so cool. Everyone in yeah. it's all, Anna Paquin and her, I need to check that out as well. her and her fictional lover actually got married and have, have children now. Interesting. Um, really, really fucking cool though. And, uh, that made me stop watching uh, Teen Wolf because like I started out. watching yeah I was like there's they're the same sort of like genre mm-hmm. like I can get my fulfillment of like fantasy I don't even know what you would call that like subsection of like maybe like horror fantasy just fantasy I don't know I, yeah. I'm really into like I said just like vampire werewolf stuff me and, too and I was like, I can get this out of a way better show that's fucking, you know, doesn't have a yeah. PG-13 rating or commercials. Commercials kill me now. Yeah. I know I'm it. such a spoiled prick, but like... Yeah, me too. That's, that's the biggest thing that stops me from watching Rick and Morty is Hulu and their ads, dude. You can get ad-free Hulu. Yeah, I have I ad-free Hulu. Uh, well, we'll talk about that later. Well, dude, <laughs> how long do you think we've been doing this? Uh... I just checked my phone, so probably an hour and 45 minutes. Holy shit, let's see how long it's been recording. One hour and 35 minutes. Very close. Oh, wow, well, well, let's call it quits. That's the longest one, dude, by, oh, by like, 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. I know, it's it'll be a fucking... Yeah, I'll have, I'll to, have to comb some through some of it, yeah. and yeah... Um, might be a little bit of a bitch. No, no, I'm just gonna bleep some stuff. (laughs) Alright, dude. Well fuck yeah.